What's up, Blog Tribe on YouTube? In today's video, I'm actually going to show you how to create custom short links for your blog or your business or something like that. If you don't know what short links are, they're basically tools on the internet. Bit.ly is one that a lot of people know of where you can quickly and easily turn a longer link, such as an affiliate link, by the way, I've actually already made a video on using one of these for affiliate marketing or any longer URL that's kind of ugly, lots of letters, numbers, words, whatever like this right here, go.doevenblog.com slash funnel dash roadmap. And I wanna make this smaller. You could use like bit.ly, but I wanted to use my own domain. So I'm actually gonna go through here. I'm gonna click up here. I'm gonna paste that one in and automatically short.io is gonna allow me to create a short link. Boom, link was created. And in fact, I can now customize it, funnel. Now I have dyeb.link slash funnel, and that is going to redirect to my full URL up here. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up. And there are three basic steps here. Number one, you get your own custom domain. I would actually suggest not using, if you have a blog or a website, by the way, don't use that. Like for me, it's doyouevenblog.com. I don't wanna use that. You could use something like pretty links in order to do pretty URLs, like doyouevenblog.com slash convert kit or something like that. I recommend going out and buying a new domain, a short one with your own brand in it somehow. There's lots of different ways to do this. You can try taking the last couple of letters of your brand name and then using a domain extension like .link or .ly, like rebrand.ly, rebrandly or something like that. There's a million ways you could do it, but that's step number one. Step number two would be to sign up for a free link shortening software tool. I have a lot of recommendations. I'll show you in just a second. And once you sign up for one, they have some for free, some are free, some are paid. The third step is to actually change your DNS settings wherever you host your domain, wherever you bought your domain to point to your tool, whichever one you use, and then you should be good to go. So let's walk through it. Number one, choosing a domain name, I'm actually not gonna walk through. Again, I actually did some searching for mine, DYEB. It's not well known, but it's easy for me to say. And people who follow me, they kind of know what DYEB stands for. Do you even blog? So that's why I chose that one. It's probably not the best one either. I would have loved like a, an even shorter one, honestly, and something that had like blog in it blog.link slash, or I don't know, but nothing was available. So I had to do some searching. I just used instant domain search, by the way, is where I always use to search for stuff like blog.link. Oh, that one's $8,500. I didn't want to buy that. Uh, I recommend going with a .com if you can, of course, but otherwise like .link actually makes more sense to me than some of these other ones, .net, .org, .us, .io, .co. I mean, those are short, .io and .co especially, but I don't know, this kind of made sense to me, like dyeb.link slash blah, blah, blah. That's easier for me to say on a podcast or in a YouTube video and to get people to know what I'm talking about. The second step is to actually go choose a platform. So bit.ly is free to use, but you can't use your own custom domain unless you pay. And I can't remember exactly how much it is, by the way, but it is more than I wanted to pay, for sure. Especially considering there are great free options. So I'm actually going to recommend the one that I ended up using. I tried out three, actually, and I ended up making a decision on short.io. And by the way, I just applied for their affiliate program. So hopefully by the time this video goes live, it'll be dyeb.link slash short. I haven't approved me for the uh, affiliate program yet, so that's why <laughs> it's not in here. But I have a life for their affiliate program. I really love these guys. It's free, by the way. I'm not paying for it at all. They do have a paid plan with more analytics and more customization and more links. Like I think on the free plan, you can only create 1,000 links. I just use this for my affiliate marketing, so that's actually way more than enough. I don't have 1,000 affiliate links. In general, you can just use it for free right? They have a paid version, go check that out. But I just use the free version. And two more that I'll actually recommend, actually three. Number one is Polar, Polar, polarproject.org. This is actually a free one that you can host on your own website, as in you don't need to use short.io or any of these other ones. That was too techy for me. I didn't feel like figuring that out. If you're a developer or you know what you're doing in terms of like setting up your own server, go for it. <laughs> for me, I was like, why did I do that? Short.io is free. Rebrand.ly rebrandly or no actually excuse me it's rebrandly.com they are another great option they do have a free plan you can connect your custom domain which i'll show you how to do in just a second it works pretty well like i tried it out it worked really well they just had a few more limitations on their free plan which is why i ended up going with short.io total branded links 500 and you can connect up to five domain names by the way which is amazing i don't know why you would need that many but 
you could. Whereas Sword.io gives you a thousand, they only give you like 500. And I think it even tracked more clicks on the free plan. You could pay for it as well, but I didn't really feel the need to do that. Another one I almost about to use would be Cutly, C-U-T-T dot L-Y. Again, I don't even remember why I didn't do it at this point. They have like unlimited branded links. I don't even remember why I didn't do this one, but I was like, yeah. Eh, I don't know. Oh, I think it's like SSL by default. It doesn't have it on the free plan. Whereas my dyeb.link, these are all SSL. I don't really know why that would matter for link shortening, but I think that was why I chose not to do it. Anyways, so that's step number two. Step number one, you do have to buy your own domain name. I bought dyeb.link for four whole dollars, four bucks for the first year. And then you choose your software. I'm going to recommend short.io because it's free and I don't really see a need to pay for it. And then the third step would be to connect it. Now, the first thing I'll say in actually setting this up is whatever tool you use, is going to be probably a little different, right? I can tell you that short.io did a really great job at just walking me through this because I'm not a developer. I'm not like a master at changing my domain DNS settings. Like I, I, I kind of get what that is, but not really. They walked me through it step by step and it was really great. Now here's the short answer. What you'll do is go to wherever you bought your domain, GoDaddy or Namecheap or SiteGround or Bluehost or like whatever it is, you're gonna wanna navigate to your domain. Obviously I had several over here and then navigate to your DNS settings. Sometimes uh, for like Namecheap, I just clicked right here and then I can start to add DNS records, right? And you might have to go to cPanel if you're using like a Bluehost or a SiteGround. I don't know. It's going to depend on what tool you use, but navigate to your DNS settings. And if you have any doubt, just go to SiteGround DNS settings or Bluehost DNS settings or GoDaddy. How to point my website, DNS management. You'll find out where you can change your DNS records or add your DNS records. You're gonna to have to navigate there. And then once you do that, you will create a simple record for short.io. It'll, it'll walk you through this step by step. Again, it gave me the values to put in. They'll give you like an address, a value right here. It told me to put an at for the host name and then a type A record. There's a couple of different types of DNS records. I don't know what they mean. You don't know what they mean, who cares? They walked me through it. Uh, I created two A records with the values that they gave me and then I had to wait. Basically, it took maybe about, I don't know, maybe it took like 12 hours or so. They say it could take up to like 24 to 48 hours in order to change those domain settings on the back end and then point to short.io. And uh, when I logged in, by the way, I, I didn't see any of these. I actually saw this big notification that says like, it's in progress. We are verifying your domain name or something like that. And then sure enough, like 12 hours later, I logged back in to short.io and then boom, it was there. It was like, your domain has now been connected. You're good to go. And that was literally it. So step number one, you have to buy your own custom domain name, of course. Step number two, choose, there's lots of different out there that I didn't even mention, by the way. There's like 30 of these that can do custom link shortenings. I, again, I really like short.io. I've been happy with them. I'm just using the free plan. Go check my affiliate link, although I guess I'm not gonna get paid if you're just gonna use the free plan, but whatever. And then you got connected to your DNS settings. All of these tools will give you the exact instructions on how to do that, including what data to put in those two A records the text records, the DNS settings, whatever that is. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just like that they told me what to do and I did it. You will find wherever you can manage those DNS settings and you'll go in there, you'll provide the record or two, you'll create a new record or two, and then you'll wait and it should be good to go. Again, I hadn't actually do that on Cutly. I did do this process on Rebrandly and it was just as easy. They told me exactly what to do. And then now I have these custom affiliate links that are shortened automatically. It's tracking analytics and that sort of stuff. Boom shakalaka. All right, that's all I got. Hashtag YouTube, which is like, comment, or subscribe, or whatever. Go check out some of these other videos on my YouTube channel, especially if you're in affiliate marketing where you can use these custom short links and that sort of stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I love you, Blog Tribe, on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. Adios.